Hello again and welcome to the channel. Another project here for you guys. I uh, just want to show you. I have the Sun Series Grid Tide Power Inverter made by Sun. It's a Sun 1000G2. So these are the ones that you can able to uh, use for battery backup as well. And you can use on PV and also it's a Wi-Fi integrated so it's just a matter of setting up this thing you guys seen the first video I made and uh, this is just gonna show you the project I'm gonna be doing here soon this project is gonna be integrated with uh, um, solar panels on each module and uh, it's gonna be pushing 120 volt back on each leg so you can pull from each side of the house breaker to minimize your power consumption from your house. These uh, inverters, they are built in limiters on them. Um, um, it it, it minimizes you or helps you not to send power back to the grid. It only takes the power that uh, is needed in the house if nothing is running, this inverter is going to stay still, do nothing. Okay? So as soon as it sends a load on the line, then it's going to trigger. It depends if the weather out there. If there is more enough power to compensate for the demands of the load, this inverter is going to be pushing the power back to compensate. So approximately, you can put a 2,000 watt roughly 2,000 watts uh, of mag solar, but um, it's not exactly 2,000, 1,000 on each, because if I show you the specs here, and you guys can see what it is. So, let's take a look. I uh, hope you get this one really clear. This is the best I can do. Um, you guys have seen this, so you've seen the specs. Let, let me hold it this way. I might probably be able to give you a better shot on this. There we go. So these are the specs, and um, this is what we're going to be playing with here. And you guys can see um, it's 115 volt is a 90 to the ac that's the ac side right here i'm trying to read from the screen maybe you guys can see better so uh 46 to 65 hertz and uh, that's the frequency the input voltage is going to be 22 to 65 volts so you can use a uh, 48 volt battery bank on this one it works perfectly or you can use a lithium ion battery approximately uh, a 12s can work with this no problem um yeah 12s can work with this okay so you guys can see the specs we have shown you guys here so instead of taking a 1000 is giving you only about 950 watt inputs if you see right there was rated for a thousand watt ac output power so it has a massive heat sink you see the black heat sink here it shows you right there the uh the limiter input and output external sorry internal it has a remote communication port right here and this is where you tie your solar array or your batteries. If you're gonna use your just your batteries instead of using as a um, connecting solar here, you might as well use a charge controller. Just like a bank, you have a charge controller that charges the batteries that this one's gonna take from the batteries and invert it. Okay? Or you can use this as a, a solar only. Or you can use this as a battery then you have a charge controller external charge controller 
to charge the battery, battery which this can invert back the power to the grid. You have your, your sensors, you can be able to connect here, they clamp into the input of the, uh, um, your solar array, uh, sorry, your breaker box, and it has two fans here, you use it just a regular keyboard, uh, sorry, computer um, uh, AC cable, like a PC. So this thing can run smoothly. If it doesn't have that much stress, it's gonna run only slow. It's not gonna be the fans not gonna be rapid. So I hope um, this uh, video can make sense to other uh, some of you guys, and you can see I have other videos um, of this nature out there, and uh, you can see how they're just beautiful, beautiful portable machines that uh, you can able to use to utilize they're all the same for your power production say um it has uh this side you can able to use a remote plug this one the communication port to give you um the uh the wi-fi or usb connect connectivity um uh sorry the wi-fi connectivity so they can able to get it on bluetooth and like i said you can see this is a dc part that takes in for the um the the solar or your batteries to power up these things so make sure you don't exceed the power or else uh it's not gonna work all right and uh, make sure here you can go back and set parameters on this screen for if you're using batteries how you can program it where what voltage it has to stop when it's supposed to stop the cutoff that's the word the cutoff voltage for this device so you have to know you set it in the parameters here this is the house you can go back and set it to cut off at certain voltage if it's getting too low not to destroy your batteries or kill the batteries and from there um, when you have power back in the morning with your solar panels and it's gonna continue the process again and just like that inverting so even at night you can able to invert power from your batteries if you have a big battery bank so all you do your charge controller is pouring the power to the batteries charging the batteries and you are taking the power from your batteries and power your house but this thing doesn't work a standalone doesn't work like a just an inverter by itself this device work it has to see the grid if the grid is down you're down too you can't send power that's the disadvantage of it okay it's not like just a regular inverter i have some questions about it so you have to have the grid it has to see the grid it has an island protection and let nobody fool you that this is gonna kill the lines man if the power lines are down no that's not true it has an island protection in this stuff so it has to see the grid they communicate with the grid and from there um it transmits it syncs it's synchronized with the grid sorry for the noise on the background we it's raining right now you can hear rain dropping or maybe one of the uh, buckets or something the metal out there okay so um this is this is the one old deal about the entire stuff here and i hope you find it helpful and subscribe like and share stay tuned for more series of videos that's coming up soon this is a project i have to do soon you're gonna be seeing the videos coming up pretty soon okay live from here in minnesota this is jw solar usa please subscribe like and share and be careful whatever you do with electricity or current and safety first all right guys thank you so much and see you on the next video take care for now love you guys all and bye bye